The dairy industry is very powerful. They have tons of money. Yeah. They're a they're a giant, and so they have they have an easy time of getting getting their message out. Um, whereas the individuals who who really understand the research and understand that dairy products are risky, unhealthy, and definitely unnecessary, they don't have the financial backing for the most part, and don't they aren't able to get out the word. Cheese is 70 to 80 percent of calories from fat, most of which is saturated. People don't realize that. They think, oh, this is a health food. It's rich in calcium, but it's not a health food. It's terrible for you. Calcium is important. We need calcium, right? Dairy's got the most calcium in food, almost. Therefore, we need dairy. That's the simple-minded conclusion. You know, the higher the dairy consumption in different countries, the higher is the risk for osteoporosis. It's not the other way around. Like the dairy industry, I mean, they've been getting away with that yarn for quite a number of years now. And they found that the countries where they were consuming the most milk, the countries where they're consuming the most calcium, had the highest hip fracture rates. It's actually opposite of what you would think. At Harvard, the Nurses' Health Study tracked women, more than 70,000 women, for over 18 years. What they found is those who drank the most milk had absolutely no protection against hip fractures at all. The idea that calcium is going to build strong bones is a myth. Over and over and over again, they do these studies. They put more calcium in the system, and it doesn't help the bone. When you consume animal protein, such as found in dairy products or meats or, or eggs, you pull calcium from your bones and excrete it in your urine. It's the protein in our dairy-based foods that makes it more difficult for us to keep the calcium that we're getting from dairy products in our bodies. What happens is when you're consuming the animal protein, your blood becomes acidic and your body reacts by pulling calcium from the bones as, as a kind of buffer to, to neutralize the blood. And if, we, and, if, and if we learned about nutrition, what were the factors that caused us to lose calcium, and what foods we could eat to have calcium from a healthier source, people would be much better off and their bones would be much stronger too.